This is Radio Banga. <laughs> you have been listening to a special half-hour request program from half past seven to eight o'clock for 30 minutes. <laughs> It's now 8 o'clock Greenwich. Meantime, here is the news. <laughs> For the first time in the history of our country, snow fell today in the northern areas. For most of the population, except for those who have been students in Russia, <laughs> this was their first sight of snow. The comments ranged from, my goodness me. <laughs> the Department of Public Health is becoming very generous with cotton wool. <laughs> Two, if this is a white Christmas, give it back to the pommies. <laughs> Our army engineers were sent today to blow up a bridge in the neighboring territory, which is being used in anti-terrorist operations. The mission was entirely successful and the bridge was completely destroyed. Unfortunately, they miscalculated slightly and blew up one of our own bridges. <laughs> Tomorrow, the president will leave for Britain to have discussions with the British government. He will ask the British Prime Minister for ground-to-air missiles in order to control the menace of the Quillia birds. <laughs> At the Organization for African Unity Congress in Addis Ababa today, a resolution against Rhodesia was unanimously adopted. It stated gorekatically <laughs> that the manure race from Enkeldon to Salisbury was a threat to world health. <laughs> it was emphatically denied by the President's Principal Private Secretary today that there is a secret romance between the president and Alice Sheena. <laughs> In Parliament today, the Honorable Member for Magudzi South asked the Minister of Defense if in the event of an adoption of the Non-Nuclear Proliferation Treaty by all countries in Africa south of the Sahara, would it be possible to extend the compulsory age for military service from 6 to 60 with the proviso that the Agricultural Assistance Marketing Board would have the overall jurisdiction regarding manpower so as not to deplete the country's resources unnecessarily? <laughs> the Minister of Defense replied, Huh? President Johnson today sent Senator Hubert Humphrey abroad, but Mr. Humphrey didn't like her, so he sent her back again. <laughs> and finally, here is a report from the Meteorological Office. There will be weather all over the country tomorrow.